DXB Today team on the occasion of Jitex 2024 week. The world has come to Dubai to talk all things tech, and guess what? We're doing exactly the same right here on the show uh, with a number of guests, none more so than our next. Uh, somebody who's helping to revolutionize the real estate industry and by empowering global users to develop financial independence. Please welcome uh, the visionary founder of the crowdfunding real estate platform. Uh, it is Betacom. A warm welcome uh, to uh, Latifa Bin Haider, who joins us here live in the studio. Latifa, thank you so much indeed for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, Betacom is, 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 is one of those entities that is helping so many, as we try to explain there. But just for the benefit of viewers who aren't aware of what Betacom is all about, A, explain what you set out to do, and B, maybe you can tell us why you set it up in the first place. Sure. So Betacom, to simply put it, is a one-stop shop for the uh, real estate investor for fractional ownership. So what we do is we find the properties that look like they're going to be a good investment. We list them on the platform for our users, and then you can invest with however much you want. It can be 5,000 dirhams, it can be 50,000 or 100,000 to own shares in a property. And then we go on to manage the entire investment operation. So we complete the purchase processes. We uh, you know, manage the tenants, collect the, rent, the rental income, uh, anything that has to do with the maintenance. Uh, all the way to, of course, distributing the rental income and in, in forms of dividends, all the way to selling the property. So it is a one-stop shop for the entire investment journey. Mm. Um, and the reason why I started is because uh, I've, you know, I'm, I've always been very much interested in this industry, in real estate. And it's very simple, right? It's always like, of course, when I'm older, I'm going to get into real estate mm. investments. But the idea is I have to have a lot of money first. Yeah. I need to have some experience, understand it a little bit before I buy something for at least a million dirhams, right? So the idea that I can do this now through crowdfunding with small investments is less intimidating. Mm. There's an expert team that can manage everything and I can build my portfolio slowly at the pace that is comfortable for me. So the reason why I started is because I spoke to thousands of people while I was working on this idea in the initial uh, stage. Mm. And the most common reasons were always, I want to, but I don't have enough money. Uh, I want to, but mm, I'm kind of worried. I don't have enough experience. What if I choose the wrong investment? And so on and so forth. But these, these common reasons are what really motivated me to push through and start the Bait to Come. Uh, there's, there's a lot involved in Vatacom in terms of the whole process that you just spoke about. How has technology really been at the core of creating, I guess, accessibility for, for your users and all that want to be part of the process? So the process, the process for the users is very, very simple. And this is what technology brings to the table. Uh, for them, it's a matter of creating an account on the app. And let me see this information provided here. Um, I'll, I'll select this property and I'll type in my budget and that's it, they're done. So then we, we do all the work. So the work that is behind the scenes is what's really long and tedious. But the value add for the user is that they, it's, it's hassle-free, it's very simple. And this is what technology enables for us as Vatacom. So simplify the process. And it's not just that, it's you can invest from anywhere around the world, from the comfort of your home. And it takes, it takes a few minutes. You know, just a few years ago, this wouldn't have been possible simply because the technology wasn't there for it. So this is what this is what it brings to the table. You, you spoke about, you know, it being an intimidating thing for most investors and at the same time for like regular people like us. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm curious to hear, like, you know, what measures are you taking to make sure that people feel comfortable putting in the money, like in terms of licensing regulation? Mm -hmm. How do you safeguard people's money? This is a very good question. So because the, the most of our investors are the everyday individual, mm -hmm. Um, and we have investors that are 18 year old students who saved up to invest all the way to um, grandmothers like at the age of 82 years mm -hmm, old, mm -hmm. right? So they're not your, the people that are usually in the industry who know everything. Yeah. So what we do is first of all, we provide them with all the information that they need in order to make an informed decision. Mm -hmm. We explain to them why we chose to list this property for them. Uh, we also, uh, you know, of course, we inform them that we are a regulated entity, um, their money is held in a separate bank account for extra security. Um, everyone that invests with you is verified. We mm -hmm. have to run background checks on all the users. 
the team as well. So myself, my family, my, my employees, everyone, <laughs> right? Um, and, and the legal structure also is what protects them. So we are not the owners. A lot of people think that they invest in Beitukum and then Beitukum owns the properties and that's not the case because then that completely changes the idea. Um, so what we do is we enable you to invest, we facilitate the entire process, but in the end you are the owners. And the legal structure um, is, is very simple. You're the owners of the property, we are the managers in a way, and then we pr facilitate everything. And how's people been responding? What's the reception been like? I'm, I'm curious to hear the, the journey Me that too. has been going through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. how's it been? Like, yeah. how, how's it been received? Like, I want to hear some of your successes. This is, this is very interesting because as an entrepreneur, when I was first doing the research, I kept hearing all the problems and in my head, that's great, I think I have the solution. Yeah. But then when we start and when people have to invest now after you know speaking to so many over time, um, they go, wait, wait. Let me ask some more questions. Mm -hmm. I don't feel very comfortable. This is new. So it's not the idea of investing in real estate. It's the method that is new, mm -hmm. which is through crowdfunding and it's all digital. So then they go, can we trust this? It's mm -hmm. all online. Mm -hmm. I don't I didn't see the property for myself. I didn't meet the team. So uh, the challenge has been um, explaining this new method of investing and the, and the legal process and, and our type of uh, licensing and regulation. And then the second part was that it cannot all be digital. So from experience, I learned that there has to be a human element mm -hmm. because a lot of people are investing, okay, 5,000, 100,000. For, for most of, of them, this could be their life saving, yeah. Yeah. right? So we have to, this is something that, that really I keep getting reminded of, meet with them, explain to them, let them come meet the team and make it as, you know, we need to have the human touch there, mm -hmm. the human element. All right. So it's a job yeah. for humans rather than robots <laughs> yeah. at the moment. Huh? Yeah. It's a job for humans. <laughs> Yeah. For life. <laughs> Nobody was, is going to trust a robot to invest for them, right? Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, that was one of the things you said an important thing that you said of, of loads of important and great things. <laughs> but one of the things is uh, obviously the background checks is a, is a big thing. Um, and then being able to meet the team at some point. Mm -hmm. That, that, yeah, you still need, we still need that human interaction. Yeah, that human element with the tech that you have made to come. Winner. Like, yes, it's all through the app, but come meet us, yeah. you know, let's talk. Let's there see, are real let's people there, yeah. 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 You know, every once in a while, you know, we, we still have these events that happen in person. So even if you have already invested, you maybe want some more reassurance. Come meet us, let's discuss. I love that. Latifa, it's been such a pleasure having you here on the couch. Thank you so much and more power to Beta Come. Thank you, thank you. Uh, for now though, it is over to Lane because we have a DXB in 60 for mm. AB. Oh yes, AB, let's do this. You've done it before, you're okay. used to it. It's all good, 60 seconds to get to know you a little bit better. Thank so you. I'm gonna throw these questions right at you, my friend. Starting in three, two, one, go. What's your favorite movie or series recommendation? Law and Order, Special Victims Unit. Old school, man. <laughs> Very specific. <laughs> Very specific, yeah, yeah. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would you go? Paris. Oh, nice. What's your go-to restaurant in Dubai? Cookley. Nice. What's a motto you live by? Live and let live. What's your favorite Dubai startup brand? Ooh. That's a spicy one, but I'm gonna say Kareem because I've seen their journey from like when they were really small to what they are now. So yeah. Kareem, yeah. Great effort. So we've done the uh, TV series uh, book recommendation and what are you reading at the moment? Um, I, again, uh, judging by SVU, um, I read a lot of murder mysteries. So I think I'm reading like an Agatha Christie now, which I've read like 15 times. I think it's Hercule Poirot's Christmas. Nice. Yeah. Um, how do you unwind after a busy day? This is I switch off everything and uh, pretend that there's no one around me. <laughs> nice. And of course, um, why Dubai? Um, I mean, I, I can't really answer that probably because I grew up here, I was born here, I was raised here. But, uh, you know, I did spend a lot of time outside of Dubai as well. And when I came back, I really felt that this was the place where I could grow. My career was pushed forward. And yeah, I had the support I needed to get to where I wanted to be. And, you know, here I am. Here it is, DXB in 60. Wonderful. Thank you, thank man. You. <laughs> yeah, a big thank you from all of us, uh, thank you. DXB, for joining us yet again here on the sofa. Always great to have you and your expertise. Thank you for the headlines. I'm stealing all of them. No, you can have that. <laughs> the A to the B to the S to the T. I got there in the end, OK? Um, uh, so, no, thank you for that. And thanks for thank thanks for surviving Jitex week as well. You know, still smiling with one more day to go. So You, you can't see the pain. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> and Latifa, can't thank you enough thank as you well. So no, it's busy time for come, but thanks so much for being with us. Now, they might uh, be heading out uh, to tackle Dubai's traffic, which is a good thing, remember? The traffic is fine. It means it's a, boom, a booming economy here, okay? It's all good. Um, we are going to stick around, and you're going to stick around, and you should stick around. We've got a brilliant performance coming up from the one and only lovely Lexi coming up shortly.